Hey, what's up y'all? This is Sam and Mason from Harky Fishing and we are on the road, man. We are headed to Toledo Bend. Um, this week, uh, entire week is the Bass Central Regional, um, Bass Nation Central Regional. Uh, Mason qualified to fish this. Um, I didn't make it, didn't make the cut, but Mason qualified as a non-boater and he's, uh, um, so we're going down here the we're gonna practice Saturday, Mon or I'm sorry, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Uh, this is Saturday evening. I think we're gonna get the boat in the water for maybe an hour or two, just kind of get the lay of uh, where we're gonna be fishing around. Uh, but I wanted to go over real quick, kind of what we do, have done pre-op, you know, for pre-fishing tournament to figure out uh, what we're gonna do, how we're gonna dissect this. I say pre-op loosely, because it is kind of a surgery to dissect this thing. Toledo Bend is a huge lake. Uh, in fact, it looks like it runs about 100, 120 miles uh, north to south. Um, hurricane just blew through. Um, yesterday, they had 35 mile an hour winds, rain. Today, as you can kind of see out the sunroof, it is pretty much blue skies, um, real light wind, and the wind's supposed to die down and get real still. So we're fishing some kind of post front conditions. It's probably gonna be pretty tough fishing, but we're gonna try to figure something out. Um, what we've done before this tournament to kind of break it down, uh, what I did is went through and looked at the lake map and tried to find an area fairly close within 20 miles of the launch uh, that we could uh, that we could look for major creeks that come into this uh, lake. And so we've picked out four major creeks. Uh, like I said, we've never been on this lake. I don't have any idea what to expect. I hear it's rough um, as far as uh, timber and stuff. There are definitely running lanes you have to stay in. Um, and. Uh, so we're gonna go down here and uh, we're just gonna start in each of these major creeks. Uh, we got three days to hit four major creeks. I don't know that we'll get them all done. We may not, but uh, our main focus is to uh, search for the backs of these major creeks. We're gonna be throwing a variety of baits. Obviously, we're wide open right now. Uh, this lake has uh, grass in it. I believe it has milfoil. Um, it has lily pads. Where we fish in Missouri um, on Table Rock, there's no grass unless there's a flood and it's up in somebody's yard. You know, we mow the grass we have in Missouri, uh, so we're not used to fishing grass. Um, lily pads, there's a few of those around here and there, but not on Table Rock, so we're not used to fishing that. Um, kind of excited to get to throw a frog a little bit, but uh, and a lot, a lot of people do it. It's fall, the top water is, is hot, but uh, Mason and I, neither one are expert frog fishermen. We're gonna throw one a little bit, but uh, you know, it's hard to beat competitors that throw that regularly in the grass. So we're gonna try to look for things that we're good at. Um, you know, flipping docks, flipping uh, flipping a jig around uh, shallow cover, the square bill crankbait, stuff that we are used to doing. Uh, and so we're gonna try, uh, try some of that, see how we do. Uh, um, the weather's gonna be beautiful. I think it's calling for around 60 for a low each day and somewhere between 80 and 86 for a high. It's gonna be sunny, it's gonna be calm, which is not necessarily great for the fishing, but it's great for the fishermen. So we got our shorts packed and uh, we're looking forward to this, hoping to get you some great coverage of some fish catches and just, um, you know, just having fun out on Toledo Bend. So till we talk to you again, we'll see you soon. First bass, Toledo Bend. Maybe on people, I don't think he's gonna make a keeper's stand. First bass right there on Toledo Bend. Nice. I don't think he's gonna make it, but first bass ever on Toledo Bend. Thirteen inches. Second fish on Toledo Bend. I think he'll keep. Right there. It's probably our first keeper. Second fish on Toledo Bend using that jig. Nice one. 15 inches right there. 15 and a half almost. Probably 15 and a quarter. Nice fish.
There, another one. Trying to record. Short one, but he bit. He was hungry while we were filming, measuring the other one. That one bit. Right there. <laughs> Double, Double up. up. off your dock. <laughs> but I might need him tomorrow. And the grass can, can grow, but uh, fish. there's also been some Another nice one. Boy, that thing is short and stocky. Ooh Short and stocky. Thought he was a lot better than he was. 14 and a half inch here, maybe. Look at his belly on him though. He's, got, he's been eating good. Right there off that shallow brush pile. Probably not three foot of water. Do a little jig in there and he ate it. He took off with it. Let's get him back in the water and let's go get some more. Bye little fishy. carbon copies one another 14 and a half maybe maybe 14 inches probably weighs a pound and a half he ain't huge but boy they fight this florida strain we ain't you west missouri boys ain't used to these florida strains and they got some fight in them but pretty pretty fish they're all healthy man look at what we're fishing look at all that brush in there and these fish are just laying in the brush and they are munching on this little chomper's jig can't go wrong with the old chompers jig. We got this one rigged up with a little Z Craw Jr. doing a little skipping action and uh, get it in that brush and they eat it. Let's get another one. That's fun. Here we go again. Another one. Back to back cast. This one's a little smaller. I'm gonna measure him and see if he'll keep because they gotta be 14 inches on Tilapa Bend here and uh, I don't think that one's gonna quite make it, but we're gonna measure him and see. Nope, he comes up 13 and a half inches, but boy, are they fun to catch. Holy cow, we got four keepers in the boat. We fished three hours. Just talked to the local uh, local guy. They took three, three fish this morning to win with uh, five and a half pounds. About a eight boat scramble out of this exact boat ramp where we launched, so. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I got Oh, he spit it again. That's the second one we lost. So we're wrapping it up. Uh, we've uh, been practicing here for a couple days. Uh, we wrapped up day number one. We had a really good evening. We ended up catching uh, four keepers that we got in the boat and we lost two on a jig just right at the boat. Um, we were uh, fishing a BASS tournament. Nets aren't legal, so uh, we couldn't get them quite lifting in the boat. So uh, um, practices went real good. Um, tell you, we're, uh, um, you know, we're having the best luck fishing shallow. Uh, um, really flipping docks and, uh, and and we've tried square bill crankbaits without much luck. Um, really our best pattern is flipping that shade of the docks, especially up in the heat of the day. Um, but anyhow, a um, little bit of information on it, um, outdoorcode.com. Um, got some great, great um, jigs that we've been using. 
um, got a good strong hook on them. One thing about it, the uh, man, these fish are uh, um, they're they're fighters. <laughs> when they eat that jig, they take off with it. And so we've had a great time. Check that out. It'll be in the description. Um, and also, uh, if you haven't followed us on Instagram, follow us on Instagram. It's Harky underscore fishing. Um, check us out on Instagram. You get kind of some little short clips before the videos come out, little uh, behind the scene tips, stuff like that. So if you haven't checked it out, do that. Hit a little like, hit subscribe. We got lots more to come here from Talapa Bend, Toledo Bend. See ya.